Yo, what's up guys, Kevin here. In this video, I wanna share with you guys my top three snowboard boots of all time. Over the last 10 years here on Snowboard Pro Camp, I've gotten the chance to ride many, many different pairs of snowboard boots. Some were my absolute favorite, and others just destroyed my feet and were very uncomfortable. So I just wanna share with you guys my three favorite pairs of all time. Starting off with number three, the 32 Lashed. So the 32 Lashed is an inexpensive boot. They've got traditional laces and soft to mid flex. And the reason I really like this boot is because it's a great entry level boot, meaning it doesn't cost much money. It's gonna be fairly flexible if you wanna to learn to snowboard or if you wanna get into doing tricks. And the traditional laces means that if something breaks on the boot, like the lace, it's gonna be very easy to replace. So for me, I rode the 32 Lash for two seasons. They performed really well in the park and around the mountain. They were very comfortable, and the traditional laces meant that if I did break a lace, that was easy to replace. And each time I had that boot, I felt like I got really good value for money. So the 32 Lash, my number three pair. So moving on to my number two boot, the Adidas Samba. The thing I loved straight away about the Sambas is that they were so comfortable. I put them on my feet, I rode all day with them, even went out afterwards for dinner and to get groceries, and the whole day they were just super comfortable on my feet. So that's always where I look for first is comfort. The other thing I really loved about the Sambas is that they had a fairly good medium flex. So that stiffness where the boot was good for the park, but it was also really good for free riding. So if I was taking these boots into the terrain park, I felt like they were giving me lots of stability for larger features. But in the backcountry, riding through powder, they really helped me to transfer my movements into my bindings and then through into my snowboard. So that more mid flex was great for harder charging, some bigger tricks, and just giving you that stability at high speeds. The one unfortunate thing about the Adidas Samba is that Adidas is out of the snowboard business. So if you can find a pair of these boots, I recommend you checking them out, but they may be sold out because they're not making them anymore. My number one boot of all time, and this one is a super easy one for me, it's the Vans High Standard OG. So the Vans High Standard, this is another boot that I can put on my foot and just ride the entire day and just keep on my feet and they're comfortable the entire time. The High Standard OGs are also a boot that is a softer flex, so really good for freestyle and for just cruising around the mountain. If you're someone that likes to get into the park or if you're just looking for a boot that you can cruise around on, the High Standard OGs will do that for you. Another thing I love about this boot is it comes in at a really low price point. I'm going through so many different pairs of boots throughout the year trying to snowboard year round that I tend to buy a lot of pairs of boots. So having a snowboard boot that comes in at a lower price point is really important the other thing I love about this boot is they have traditional laces, so you can get them really tight. The laces are soft, so as they're tightening around your foot, they're not giving you any awkward pressure points or places on your foot that can create some foot pain. So the traditional laces for me are the way to go. And then if for some reason you do break a lace, they're super easy just to thread a new lace through that. So it does the job around the mountain, giving me lots of performance, comfortable, and I think comes in at that low price point again. So these are my top three snowboard boots of all time. I'll put links down below in the description if you wanna check these boots out. I recommend if you do wanna buy some of these boots, definitely try them on first. Make sure they fit your feet and that they're comfortable on your foot in the store. If you have any questions, definitely hit me up down in the comments. And it'd be great to hear from you guys as well. What are some of your favorite boots? If you've ridden any of these boots, maybe give me some feedback. If you haven't yet, subscribe here to Snowboard Pro Camp. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having fun out there snowboarding, and I'll catch you in the next video soon.